Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Scarlet and Violet 151 Zapdos EX Collection Box. Now this product is brand new. It is part of the second phase of releases for the Special Expansion 151. Now previously on my channel, I opened up the other EX Collection Box from this Special Expansion. That one featured Alakazam. I had very good pulls there. Hoping to repeat those same types of pulls in this particular video. So this box I did buy from Collector's Cash for $21.99. So bought it for MSRP. You can check out a link to their website in the description of this video. So this particular box, you can see right here what's included on the inside. Four booster packs of 151, an oversized Zapdos EX, two promo cards, and then a TCG Live code. I definitely prefer the size of the Alakazam EX box. It's about half this size. I've mentioned in previous videos the oversized cards really don't do a lot for me. I prefer a pin or just nothing at all. That's why if you are looking for best price per pack, go out and buy the Booster Mundle $26.94, the MSRP for those products, if you can find it. Otherwise, on Collector's Cash's website, they do have individual packs for sale, $5.50 a piece there, or if you buy a 36 booster pack lot, I think it's $190, about $5.27 per pack, which is cheaper than buying a box like this. So I'll get the box opened up, show the contents on the inside, and then get to opening the booster packs. Now, of course, this is a special expansion, so you have to purchase products like these boxes to get the booster packs. You cannot buy individual packs in retail stores or booster boxes from hobby shops. Zapdos, I am partial to the first generation of Pokemon. That is why this set, I think, is hitting home with so many collectors out there of Pokemon cards. Very nostalgic. And I've been asked a few times, what do you prefer? A set like Celebrations, where it's basically a reprinted set, or a set like this, where it's all first generation Pokemon, but new artwork in. I like both sets quite well. I like the reprints available, just that straight nostalgia pulling a base set charizard reprint but at the same time i like this set with a new artwork and just new cards to pull both sets so fun to open up i have a lot of celebrations sealed in my collection still and i plan to do the same thing with this expansion so there would be just quickly the oversized zapdos ex compared to the regular sized one change the camera view here and show you the promo cards first this is an actual promo card number 49 get a good look at it you can read the card text if you would like just pause the video i think i probably prefer articuno a little bit more than zapdos articuno moltres and then zapdos i would say and then you do get an electabuzz this is just a Special hollow of Electabuzz, of course, early on in the English sets, Electabuzz, I believe, was a rare. And then the TCG Live code for one lucky viewer. And I would like to thank everyone for watching this video. Four booster packs, hoping for one good pull from four packs. Now, if I'm shout out of this box, I had the really great pulls in that Alakazam EX box, pulling four good pulls out of four packs. Usually about one in three or one in four is what you're expecting pull rate wise for anything that you open up, especially once the pull rates change a little bit when they went to Scarlet and Violet, getting that guaranteed rare hollow in each and every pack made it a little bit easier to pull out a regular EX. First pack of four starts with Squirtle, Venonat, Lickitung, Pidgey, Victory Bell, Big Air Balloon, Prime Ape, Reverse Hollow of a Butterfree. Second Reverse Hollow spot can be either a Hyper Rare or an Illustration Rare or a Special Illustration Rare, three potential, and more than likely I'll get the fourth in just a second Reverse Hollow, and then the final card would be a Gengar. One, one in three packs has the Hall Foil Energy card, doesn't happen here. Should get at least one from these four packs, I would say. Just like previous 151 videos, certainly let me know in the comment section of this video what product you like best from 151, what your favorite cards from this set would be, how your luck has been with this expansion. 
to this point in time, I pulled both the Blastoise EX and Venusaur EX, the special illustration rares, most valuable card in this set. It's worth about $120 right now is the Charizard. That is my most wanted card. That's why, of course, I have the three starters here on my shirt. Thought it'd be a fitting shirt for the 151 openings. Star U starts the second pack. Charmander, Spearow, Rhyhorn, Tauros, Kadabra, first time in a long time that Kadabra's been printed, Ivysaur, Vileplume, Graveler, and the final card would be a Flareon. I've mentioned it previously before, but I do like the EX Full Art cards in this set quite well. They're not worth much value-wise unless you pull a couple of Pokemon like a Charizard, for example, but there are 12 different EX Full Art cards. Most are worth five to ten dollars, but just so beautiful, vibrant backgrounds, and then just the Pokemon there. So that is a card that I'm hoping to pull, just that type of card. Demigod Pack is still a possibility. The final three cards being Illustration Rare, Illustration Rare, Special Illustration Rare. Not expecting anything though. I think those packs are very, very tough to come by. Seal starts the third pack. Doduo, Tentacool, Rattata, Tentacruel, Snorlax, certainly thinking of the poker app as I go through these cards. Sand Slash, Victory Bell, the first reverse hollow. Second would be an Erica's Invitation. So this is one of my most wanted cards from the set. This would be back-to-back -back videos. I pulled this exact same card. So this is a special illustration rare. And there are seven total in this set. So pulling the same one twice in back-to-back -back videos. Very happy with that. Of course, this would potentially be a Charizard EX, the final one that I'm missing. But Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, Alakazam, Zapdos, Erica's Invitation, and Giovanni's Charisma, the different special illustration rares. Actually, looking at this list, I think I need Blastoise. No, I need Alakazam and Charizard, and those are the only two that I need. Otherwise, I've completed the special illustration rares from this expansion. So very happy with that Erica's Invitation, a very competitive card, and then Weezing to end it. Hollow Energy here, indeed, in a Fire-type Energy. So there we go, the box has been made. At one time, this card was worth 75 plus. It has come down in value, but it is both a collectible card. A lot of times, the female characters in full art form, very collectible, and then Erica's Invitation is competitive, allowing you to basically move a Pokemon from, a basic Pokemon from your opponent's hand to their bench, and then moving it potentially to the active Pokemon spot if you would like. Final pack here, Scarlet and Violet 151. Let's see what happens. I know there is a Charizard EX box coming out in the future. I've pre-ordered, I think, four of those. So lots more good openings to come in the future. Paradox Rift comes out, I believe, later this month or either later this month or early November. So I'll have plenty of that to open up as well. Final pack starts with Meowth, Execute, Clefairy, Machop, Slowbro, Machoke, Dugong, Executor, Reverse Hollow of an Aerodactyl, and the final card would be a Ditto. I do like Ditto quite well, back from the Fossil set. Cool looking card here, and a decent way to end this box. But out of only four packs, pulling a special illustration rare, I will take that pull ratio any day. And just like that Alakazam EX box, I did purchase more than one of these Zapdos EX boxes, but I'm trying to keep as much sealed as possible, and I'm hoping to do a larger single booster pack opening of 151. So if I can get my hands on the booster bundles at MSRP, or potentially just buying packs individually from a website like Collector's Cash. I've had a few requests too on where to buy Pokemon cards. I would highly recommend anywhere that I buy my products from. The only places I would not recommend right now would be buying cards in store from stores like GameStop or Target or Walmart. Those products are so overpriced and you're essentially paying for the convenience of having the products right there and just immediately taking them off the shelf and getting to open them up. Now with that being said, there are some clearance products out there that will be at MSRP or below and those are worth it but almost always you can find much better deals online 
Also, with that being said, sometimes you do have to buy over a certain amount of dollars to get free shipping, but other websites will charge you free shipping no matter what. But just one card to summarize here, Erica's Invitation, the special illustration rare, and I will take that any day, like I said. Paid for the box if I wanted to sell it, but this card will be going right in the binder that I did get with the binder collection from this special expansion. So that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to leave a like on this video if you think you think I deserve it. And then, of course, subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to support my channel even more, please consider becoming a patron of mine on Patreon. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Happy Pokemon card collecting. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.